Hey guys, welcome to the level 2 algebra preparation questions. This is question 12 in this series. And today's question is this one here. So as usual guys, uh, pause the video, try the question by yourself and see how far you can actually go with this answer. Yeah, I'm hoping you guys have had a chance to go through this question. Um, basically this one is, you got to combine this as a single fraction. But most importantly, it's got to be in its simplest form. All right, a lot of people have this habit of um, seeing when they see two fractions, so say for example they have something like a over b plus c over d, the common idea that people get taught is that, um, you know, do cross multiplication. So you cross multiply and then multiply the bases together. Now if you were to do that in this situation here, in this particular question, it actually ends up being quite horrible for you to actually try and work it out. Okay, so I don't, I wouldn't recommend it that way. So what you need to do is, you need to actually figure out what's the lowest common denominator possible. So the way you go about it is, I first write down my equation, uh, x squared minus 16 plus 2 over 2x minus 8. All right, and what I do is, um, particularly the denominator, because it looks like that, I'm actually going to factorize the denominators. So when I factorize my denominators, uh, x squared minus 16 could be written as x minus 4, <clears throat> and x plus 4. All right. And as for the 2x minus 8, could be written as 2 times x minus 4. So at this point, um, I can actually look at what's missing in the denominators, and I can actually fill it up. So what I mean by is, if I have a look at um, both of the denominators, right now, both denominators have already got x minus 4 in it. So I don't need to worry about it. As for the left-hand side, the left-hand side has got an x plus 4, which means the right-hand side, the denominator, has got to also have x plus 4. So if I multiply the denominator by x plus 4, I've also got to multiply the numerator by x plus 4 as well. Okay? Then I have a look at what's missing. I can see that on the right-hand side, there's a 2 in the denominator. But there's no 2 in the denominator on the left-hand side. That means I've got to multiply the denominator by 2. And also I'm going to have numerator on the top with the 2 as well. The reason I'm putting 2 on the top and the, and the denominator and the numerator is that at the end of the day, both of them is actually equal to 1. All right, Because when I go 2 divided by 2, it's 1. x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 is 1. So what I've done is I've actually made the denominators the most simplest form as possible. So now I could have the denominator as one big fraction and that one big fraction is going to be 2 times x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 4. And as for the numerator I've actually got 2 times 8 which is the left hand side plus 2 times x plus 4 which is the right hand side. So expanding this I'm going to get 16 plus 2 times x is just 2x and 2 times 4 is 8 and in the denominator, I've got 2 times x minus 4, x plus 4. Simplifying the numerator, I end up with 2x plus 24. And as for the denominator, it's going to stay the same, which is 2 times x minus 4 and x plus 4. And so what I've done is I've written this question as a single fraction, and it's also in its simplest form. All right, guys, that's basically it for this little video here. If you have any questions, pop it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video.